What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are hitting some sort of a river walk out here in Dallas, Fort Worth, man. A little secret hidden gem that I just found. It looks to be newly developed. Uh, yeah, 100% it's newly developed. And I'm out here with my buddy Ryan Rigg. You guys know him very well. And also, we meet up with Chris tonight as well. And we're going to go ahead and get after some fish in this epic urban location. Y'all, so stick around. Let's go ahead and get in. Dudes, this spot looks so sick. I beat Ryan Rigged here. And I'm trying to get in the water because the place looks so juicy. Starting things off with the worm, it looked so stained on the first impressions. Definitely down below us, it is extremely stained. Right up here, a little bit more clarity. There's some grass, there's some rock. I'm gonna just chunk this worm in here real fast. I'm rocking the red and black XO ribbon. I think this is probably the seven inch. And see if I can't get a bite before Ryan shows up. Water inflow right here, hitting this patch of grass, trying to knock out some shade. What a sick spot, man. Throwing off the falls. 105 degrees by the way y'all it is hot today extra hot get in here by this waterfall Ooh, better depth over here i'm just kind of hitting the shade right along this uh, wall definitely would presume there's more fish right here even with that current over there i don't know maybe they go over there to feed at night but I'm like, I just heard a splash, but it was a turtle over there. I'm looking for that splash and it's right along the rock edge. This is so cool. The Hidden River Walk in DFW, boys. I have never seen this place. I found this place actually because I saw some people's Instagram photos. I was like searching Denton, Texas or something. And then I saw somebody have a picture of this place. So I checked out the, the geotag or whatever, the location, right? And I saw everyone's photos here, just like, <laughs> I don't know what they're doing like graduation pics and stuff it was funny and i'm like this looks like a perfect place to fish and i'm like you mean it's right around here my neck of the woods so kind of discovered this one on instagram what's up man good how are you i don't know dude have you been here before yeah that place looks i want to take a kayak to it, it looks yeah i've never seen anything logged in here i don't think but like uh further down so i just figured i'd throw in here yeah. more depth than by the waterfall yeah uh, yeah, so the one the one down there shows quite a few catches. See, it's got a little island. Looks dope. All right, boys, we're about to hit him with the crappie rig. Get a little chartreuse in the water right here. Small, easy target for whatever might be lurking, y'all. Let's get in here. Got to be something around here, boy. Getting bites. Oh, I heard him. I heard him. He's biting every cast. I got to get lucky and hook him, though. Okay, I reckon it's time to take it down a little bit, man. This place is so cool. Okay, next little waterfall spot. This looks pretty dope. All right, y'all, I think we made it to the, the grand finale down here. The waterfall of waterfalls. Yeah. Ah! Did you see him? He was running with it. All right, y'all, here you go. Check that out. See that drain? That's for us. Here I am thinking I was taking a night off. Boat's in for service. Should be easy fishing with this little crappie rig. I could get a, I could get a bass, I could get a bluegill, a little sunfish, anything should bite this. And I'm getting a lot of bites, but I haven't connected yet. Oh, there was a little hit. I am pretty surprised I haven't got a fish yet. What is around door number two? All right, it's looking pretty murky. I have a T-Rig right here. Very muddy bottom. Um, I don't know if I've got, I might have a jig in here. The old bank box. You know, a chatterbait might work, but I'm thinking I should throw a black and blue jig for a second. Give this thing a whirl. Well, I've got the Texas rig tied on. Yeah, hold on, hold that thought. Skip the jig, just a crack and crawl right quick. Okeechobee crawl, crack and crawl. That might be the juice. So guys, before I make a major switch up and uh, untie my Texas rig, let's see if I can just throw a little crack and crawl action in here. We're on the hunt for a bass now. Let's go. Dan, these ducks are following me. Honestly, I don't even really need the polarized shades over here with how murky this water is in the shade. Oh, wow. I thought I just got hit. Oh my gosh. I might have just popped through some grass. I think that front yesterday, they were all fired up and eaten as that hurricane rolled through. And now it's the aftermath. Everything is so stained. 
You see the oh drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car, I'm giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car, I'm giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the oh. flex, let's flex on it. Oh, God. Woo. What up, guys? Like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad, shady, my bros rock. No break, sweet, go, 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 go. Throw shade, that's a no, no, no. It seems like they might be a little turned off today. I might be able to, I'm sure I can find some out deep though. I don't know if they'll be up here shallow on the run. I'm kind of swimming this crack and crawl as I get shallow and working it slowly while I'm out deep. That's kind of the strat. See what happens, man. I'm gonna walk this down a little bit. Where are they at, Ryan Rigged? I think we went the wrong side. I think they're all at that one at the top. <laughs> oh, well, well. I'm not extremely eager to tie on a crankbait because that's what Ryan's throwing and I haven't seen them get any bites just yet. And then also Chris is rocking a worm. So I figured crawl, switch it up. I'm also running and gunning with that little crappie rig, that tube still, and it's getting munched so much, but I haven't had anything connect. So we are just trying to dial these things in. I'm gonna make a few more switches for you guys. When pond fishing gets tough, we're switching things up just for fun. I'm gonna leave the spinning in here. We're gonna take two bait casters because, I don't know, we're feeling it. Definitely a gate right there. Is that open? There's no way the gate's open. Definitely prime real estate. Dude, this place looks dope actually. Well, y'all, between the three of us uh, throwing everything under the sun, we have yet to catch a bass. So we're going to continue moving the bank, walking the bank over here. See what we can't get ourselves into in this newest of new finds. Wasting time is the name of the game. <laughs> oh, there's kind of a little spot. Okay. Not bad. That's how you get across a lot faster. What a cool spot. I think we're gonna close this thing out with the uh, the chatterbait or maybe a pop and top water. All right, chatterbait is rigged and ready, boys. We're throwing this till the end. Take off. The has been updated. Okay, well, looks like Ryan just caught the first fish of the night. I'll run and catch the first one of the night on the drone. <laughs> it makes it look like she just spawned out over here. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Really, man, she's got a bad eye on this side, but Woo! I threw it at the fountain, let it sit, took off the trailer because I felt some of the peck at it, and it took my trailer off. Oh wow. Threw it back and uh, hit it. Yeah, bottom of the jig. Black and blue jig. Chatterbait might not work. They might be all about the bottom. Well, it's good to see that be the first fish caught out of here. All right, guys, so that was Ryan catching his first one on a black and blue jig. A lot of times when you see water with this kind of clarity, which is, you know, next to nothing, <laughs> those darker colors really stand out and help those fish key in. Now what I am rocking is a, a bladed jig, essentially. So same thing, but I've got that blade on the front and this is more of a moving bait. And what you do, you just crank this sucker in and that blade creates a lot of vibration in the water also helps them key in so i'm using more of a natural color and i've also got more of a paddle tail swim bait on here this is a, a guggen squad saucy swimmer in the goby color just a little flash on the tail i got a feeling they're going to start to get active here in a minute come up shallow and start feeding with the sun setting so if that is the case now if they're turned off from the storm or a couple other factors and they're just out deep slow baits are going to be the way to go and i think ryan might get another couple bites now that he's keyed in on a potential location for these guys if he gets those things dialed in that is going to be pretty sweet i would love to see if he pulls out two or three the same size or maybe we can join them in the catches and see if these fish here average out to be four pounds now wouldn't that be something i found a new little honey hole not too far from home i'm gonna make a few casts in this channel we got a couple feet of depth right here right along this wall let me get on Bass Forecast app real quick. I'm thinking 105 degrees today. Mixed with the fact that we got a storm yesterday is going to yield a low rating on the uh, the bite scale here. But I could be entirely wrong. We're about to find out. Oh, almost felt like I just had a bite. Ooh, that 5G network ain't as fast as they say, huh? Yeah, 4.2. Poor on the bite rating today, boys. Could have expected that. No wonder we've caught one fish in multiple hours between three anglers. And it happens to be on a slow moving bottom bait just kind of sitting out there in the middle. 
Well, 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 it was a tough one indeed today, folks, but I kind of half expected it. I know I was talking a lot about excuses earlier today, but let's be real, there was a massive storm that came through yesterday. That's why the bite was so hot. If you guys saw the frog fishing kayak episode, I mean, they were on fire. Today, being literally 105 degrees with a feels like temp of 113 down in Austin, my buddy sent me, so it's probably about the same here. Whoo, let me tell you what. It was a little tricky. Bluebird skies. 105 degree heat mixed with the fact that the storm just rolled through yesterday making the conditions pretty chalky and terrible for us today we were managed to pull one fish out that was ryan rigged on the jig man slow moving down at the bottom in the center of the pond and that's how it gets sometimes so with that being said don't get discouraged if you guys aren't catching too many fish on every outing out here in the summertime heat because let's face it it can get a little tough but we've got a lot of plans for the videos coming up on the channel we've got some new toys some new equipment to be uh, utilizing at these ponds lakes the boat the kayak all of the above so stick around for that hit the like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>